So many of you had questions about where we got these deck boxes from. And what they actually are is, I painted these and it's super easy and I'm gonna show you guys how. So what we're gonna start off with, first what we need to do is we need to get a deck box that we really don't care about, can be new, can be used, just make sure it doesn't really have any cracks or anything on it. Um, so we'll need the deck box, uh, a paper plate, works really well, a Brillo pad or scuff pad, whatever you wanna call them, some rubbing alcohol, some paper towels, you got primer, you've got clear coat. Make sure you get you some paints. Um, I like to use the miniature paints plus the acrylic paints as well. They work really well and then paint brushes. All right, so what we're gonna start off with first is with our little scuffing pad, we're gonna go through and we're gonna scuff this entire box so that the primer has something to stick to. Now one thing you want to do is make sure you get in this little crease on the back pretty good because this is where your paint's going to end up cracking when it starts cracking or anything. So just make sure you get that nicely sanded down. Alright, now that we got our box nicely sanded, you can see there's all kinds of particles left. We'll get those off of there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our paper towels spray some rubbing alcohol on here so that we clean the surface and make sure you let this dry completely before you spray with the primer so you're just going to give this a nice wipe down to have a nice clean surface One optional thing you can do is, I know the deck boxes have these little holes and the little grooves on the corners and everything. So one thing I like to do is I like to take some, um, just some medium. Um, usually there's, there's like glossy medium or matte medium. And what this can do is this is kind of like a flexible, more heavy duty mod posh. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in these corners just so that when we start painting it, it's gonna have a nice smooth surface. Now this will take a little bit of time to dry. So just be aware of that. It might take overnight to dry when you put this medium on there. This, this that I'm using right now is an iridescent one, which it doesn't matter because I just want it to be able to fill the grooves. So we'll go ahead and paint this on there. Alright, now that our deck box is dried, what I like to do when I'm going to primer it is I'm going to take a piece of cardboard to help hold up the lid for when we're spraying the primer. So we'll just kind of measure that out. I want it about right there. So you want to make sure that when you're spraying it, you don't have the opening or have it open too far so that you spray primer inside here and get, get primer and stuff flaking off into your cards. All right, so we're going to go ahead and spray this. All right, so our box has been primered now. Now, if you look, we do have a line in there. That's just to make sure it doesn't really flake off inside the box. But what we're going to do now is we got a few different options of what we can do. We can go ahead and just paint directly on this if we want to, or some fun things we can do. 
Um, one thing you can do is you can get Mod Podge. You can get Mod Podge or you can get this matte medium gel. I like to use this gel because it's a little bit more flexible and it does take longer to dry, but it's going to be more flexible in the long run and easier to paint over and everything else to kind of Mod Podge. Different things like these little dual deck inserts, which you can just cut out the picture and glue right on the box. That's one thing you can use. You can use the little ins advertisement inserts. There's some cool little zombies on there that we'll use. We'll kind of cut those out, uh, glue those on there. You can also even use deck boxes. Um, just cut that image out and paste it on the deck box. You can freehand it. Another thing you can do is even just print out a symbol. You can print out a symbol, cut it out, and make yourself a stencil. All you'll need is just some light craft spray bond. Just make sure you're spraying it over a garbage can somewhere where it can't get sticky because it will get everywhere. Um, do it really lightly though so it doesn't adhere to the box and leave residue on there. So first off, what I think I'm going to do for this is I'm going to kind of show you guys kind of all three. Um, just kind of freehand some stuff. Uh, we'll cut out one of these, put them on the box, um, and we'll kind of go through this quickly. Um, I will go ahead and show you kind of a time-lapse version of me doing this deck box. We'll kind of pause in a few places, uh, explain a few things that I'm doing, and then kind of speed through it up again. So first off that we're going to do is we're going to first off, since I got my stencil cut out, I'm going to go ahead, spray this. All right, so I got my garbage can here. It's nice, clean, and empty. I'm going to set it down in there, give this a nice shake. Now remember, it only needs to be on there for a few seconds, so don't spray it too heavily. All right, just one light quick spray. Now what I like to do is kind of tap it on my pants or tap it on my shirt or anything, kind of get any of the big fibers off of there so that when you try to peel it off, it's going to be a lot less sticky than it normally would be because this can actually be used, this spray bond can be used to permanently adhere stuff or temporarily adhere stuff. So there can possibilities of leaving residue. So first off, make sure you map your stencil out properly because I did not. And I need to trim off a little bit because I want the skull to be towards the bottom of the deck box for the swamp symbol. So that's gonna be towards the bottom of the deck box. And then we're gonna have zombies up on top. Now, you may need to reposition it just ever so slightly. All right. There we go. So we got that nicely adhered down. It doesn't need to be perfect because we're going to go over it lightly with a brush. Because really all we need is just to get an idea of where to position. Kind of like a paint by numbers or anything. So first off, I got my wet palette here which if you want to see how to make a wet palette, it's really simple. It's a paper towel, some wax paper, and a palette. If you want some more information, go check out my How to Alter videos. I have a whole thing about wet palettes there. Now we're going to lightly paint on the box. All right, so we got that painted. Now, why it's still wet, you're gonna wanna pull this off of there. All right, so we got that pulled off. Now you can save the stencil for later if you use a high quality paper, but we pull that off of there already because we have these little lines and everything on the box from where our stencil was. So we're gonna paint back over those and try to blend it in. Now, one thing you can do is raise the lid of the box just ever so slightly. We're going to kind of paint a little bit of where the image goes. So when, if the box kind of comes open a little bit, it won't look too bad. So we'll paint a little bit in there. As you can see, got a little <laughs> bit of the image. All right. So we're going to let that kind of dry for a few moments. Now I'm going to go ahead, while, the, while this is drying, we're going to go ahead and 
talk about a few of these. All right, so I wanna use this Liliana pitcher. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unfurl this box and then I'm gonna, it has a nice little opening here on the side. So I'm gonna cut this back out. We'll kind of open that up. To make it kind of easy, we're gonna cut around the image. Because I mean, Liliana is the master of zombies, right? All right. Now you'll need to make sure you have an X-Acto knife and a cutting board. I just use a piece of cardboard. Just make sure if you use a piece of cardboard, you don't press too hard. Now you're gonna slowly cut out around it. All right, so we got it cut out. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of maj podge it on here. So we need to kind of map it out and see. So this is gonna overhang. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna freehand all of Liliana's smoker, magic, whatever you wanna call it that's coming out of her hands. All right, because that works nicely right there on the crease if you see that. So we need to get this out of here. All right, so now what we're gonna do, let's take, let's take our matte medium. A nice brush to kind of paint it on there. Now this will hold it on there. This will also keep it sealed up because we will spray it. All right, so we've got that image done. Now is a good time to make sure you, if you're gonna do any other images, that you do them now. I, I happened to find on one of these little advertisements, I found this little awesome zombie. I only got the God of the Undead. So, but I think I'm gonna use this zombie from Theros for kind of a corner piece. Now you can take the other side off to make it a little bit. Now you can take the other side apart and just kind of cut it in half just to make it a little bit thinner so it's not sticking out so far. All right, so we place that on there. Okay, so now we need to wait overnight for this to dry. Now remember, the only reason I use this gel over Maj Posh is this gel tends to have a little bit more flexibility in it. So, but it does take longer to dry, but in the long run, this is gonna allow the image to flex ever so slightly on the deck box. All right, we'll let that dry and then we'll get back to it.